Welcome back guys, I have another crazy arm bar video for you today. Last episode we got the best drop from Nex, the 12 play playbody, aka the strongest melee body in the game surpassing Vandals finally after many many years, and most valuable item from Nex of all time. All that's left is to get the Nihil Horn to make the Zarya Crossbow, the strongest crossbow in the game, and the 12 play licks, the strongest melee licks in the game. I got many more videos coming up, so if you're excited, please continue supporting the series by liking the video and also subscribing so you don't miss out on future ones because we are going full steam ahead. Enjoy. Oh my god, no way. Torva body. Oh my, he already has one, dude. Damn, well, I already have one too, so I, I don't even feel too mad not, not getting that one, you know? Hey, money. We call this the DV special, man. Man's getting all the drops. Ooh, 175 mil strength XP. Let's go. Damn. Ooh. <laughs> Van braces. Yo, you did, you did say this is the drop. <laughs> hey, money for you. Money for us, I guess. We all don't need that, but hey. What the hell, man? I just tanked every single time. Holy shit. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, uh, I mean, money for the boys, but oh my god. Uh, I mean, yo, someone owes me a sub, but uh, holy shit, two drops in one day. Oh my god. Uh, like no way i mean we all have the body so no no one's actually mad at this but at the same time oh no i, I need to i need to drop that to split the the, the cost man i ain't going <laughs> ceremonial legs bro i want to pick that up but it's the wrong legs these aren't the right legs Oof. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. This is... What is today? What in the world? Jesus Christ. Two bot... Dude, it's like that time that, uh... It's like that time that I that I got the, the body after Gozu got body. Except it's reverse. I got the body first today. First time ever uh, I've seen three drops in, in one day. Oh my god. You actually got it. Holy shit, he actually got it! Four of a plate legs, oh my god. Let's go, damn, dude, he's done. He's actually done. I'm happy he got it first though, not me, because he is a lot drier than I am, so. Ooh, nice. Damn, four of a plate legs for the boy. Man's got the full Torva now. Okay, I guess it's my turn, right? Now it's my turn? <laughs> Now it's my turn. Holy shit. Yo, congrats, man. What the hell is that? Okay, oh my god, I just got one whole EQ key. Holy shit. Yo, damn, that's crazy. Three kill trip trio. And I only brought uh, four brews inside. <laughs> uh, and I came out, uh, came out with eight. So many. So many mage shits, man. <gasps> oh my god horn what yo let's go holy shit i thought i got a dupe or something oh my freaking god yo dude just in the nick of time i only have 4.5 kd arrows i mean it sounds like a lot but i literally had like 20k or something just to let you guys know so holy shit oh my god dude Jesus. Wow. Oh my god. Six out of seven? Dude, I was thinking, hey, maybe by the end of this month I'll be six out of seven, but Wow, the month just started, man. It's only the third of this month. Oh damn. Actually, we are we are lucky now, I think. Oh jeez. That's that's good. I really wanted this to, to be the uh the not not the last item, because it would have been such a shame. I have been gaming so hard recently that I need to improve my sleep quality. And I got just the thing for that. Check it out. After a long day of gaming, you need rest. 
And now you can get it with X-Sheets, the only LED-powered bed sheets made for gamers. Enjoy maximum nighttime visibility. I bet you actually wanted to buy some X-Sheets, but they're not real. But here's our real sponsor. Ever wanted to play a badass dark fantasy game full of interesting races and rich lore in the palm of your hands? Because Raid Shadow Legends is the perfect mobile game for you. What I liked about Raids is the auto battle system that you can toggle to AFK train your champions. There are lots of champions to level up and use for clan bossing and PvP battles, so it can be daunting to train them all manually. Raids just celebrated its 3 year anniversary and it was huge, and there's no sign of them slowing down. Right now, they've got a bunch of special events and tournaments with some of Raid's best ever prizes on offer, including badass champions, piles and piles of shards, and tons of other good goodies. This is a really good time to try Raid because using my link in the description or scanning the QR code on the screen, you can get a free starter pack worth about $40. That's three free champions at once. Mystery Cord, Tiger Soul, Romero, 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, 10 Spare Brews, start raid with a bang. This log is literally almost done. I, can you believe that? I mean, most of these should have been technically done, right? But wow, dude, we just need the legs. That's actually, dude, we're lucky now. We are actually lucky. Six, six out of seven equips. Uh, and and uh, including the pet. Oh my god, I'm so glad it's not like a nightmare grind. But we'll see what happens for the, for the last uh, last item though. Knock on wood, you know. Knock on wood. The last item is not like. Yeah, I'm gonna make the freaking crossbow. All right. Holy crap! We actually have it. The Zara crossbow. Holy shit. Jeez, that's insane. We actually have the Zara crossbow. I have so many plans I want to do with this thing. That isn't just an X. Obviously, we're going to use it here to, to get the legs. Perfect. You know, that's a perfect story right there. That's a perfect grind, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to learn the ins and outs of the crossbow, though. Um, so I won't talk too much about it just yet, as uh, I need to break it down personally. 110 range, 10 more than the Arbiter crossbow. And then the spec uh, as red, it performs an attack with double accuracy with a guaranteed enchanted bolt. Upon activation on a successful hit so i have to roll a, a actual hit but then the the bolt effect if it's a ruby it'd be guaranteed the ruby bolt and then it gives me an extra bit on top so it's like up to 110 damage so it's really good at next especially when i can't melee so so yeah we are going to be learning the ways of the uh, of the crossbow pretty much all right, so we're gonna go for the ruby bolts. Come on. Oh, it did. It landed. Let's go. That's a good start. That's gonna help a ton with the blood phase. Absolutely. That's gonna help massively there. Just because, yeah, just that big hit. So after using the crossbow at next for a bit um, with the hybrid setup, I will talk about the range only method uh, in a later video. I just wanna cover the hybrid setup because I'm just having way too much fun using the most DPS setup possible, which is a combination of Rapier, T-Bow, and the Zarya Crossbow. So the Zarya Crossbow is generally used for the spec uh, special, which you use could be at the start of the trip when you have 100% uh, spec, or during the blood phase, especially on the blood phase. I try to use the spec on the blood phase the most because it'll skip the bluff phase a lot faster. It has like a 60-70% chance to land that 110 on it. So it's really nice. And if you combine it with an altar, you can even do it twice. But usually I just at least go for one. And also it's really good on shadow phase because you cannot melee the boss. So melee is still number one DPS if you can reasonably melee it. But a lot of times you can't. On P2, you cannot melee. So Zarya Crossbow is best for that. Also during uh, ice phase, when she does the little contain, you can't melee her for like two to three hits, so use the crossbow for that as well. And uh, also on the last phase, when she used protect for melee, Zarya crossbow is best for that as well. But up until 200 HP, once the boss is like two, 300 HP, T-Bow starts being better since your rubies cannot hit the high anymore. And where does the T-Bow fit? It fits in that scenario I just mentioned. 
And also, Tebow is still incredibly powerful on the minions, so still best slot for the minions. So that's where the Tebow still has a place in. A little bit at the boss and mostly at the minion. And Rapier dominates when you can actually uh, fight her up close. So yeah, that's kind of like how it all works out. So guys, I've been doing a lot of grinding outside of Nex, like off stream. So really nobody knows other than me and like a few of my friends on Discord uh, what the heck I've been up to uh, outside of Nex. I've been doing a lot of things in preparation for some Zarya crossbow action. So let me explain a little bit about what you'll be seeing in the next few videos. So the Zarya crossbow is really good at a quite a few places that I still need to grind at. Uh, number one, obviously, next, uh, I'll show you a bit already here. But outside of next, there's a bunch of other places too, like Armadale, Corporal Beast, and Hydra, and maybe a few others. But those are the main things that I'm going to be covering in the future videos. So I want to eventually get the Spectral from Corp and get all the Spirit Shields, but I don't want to go back until I get the Fishing Barrel for it, because the method that I do involves a lot of Karambuan, so Fishing Barrel would be nice to get. And yeah, that means I won't be testing the Zarya Crossbow until I get the Fishing Barrel to go with that Corporal Beast grind and showcasing Crossbow there. And also there's Hydra. I want to get the pet of Hydra, like most boss pets I do want, but Hydra is kind of boring. So I want to get the best setup for Hydra before I go back. Zarya Crossbow being one of them, which I have now. But also the Devout Boots and the Ring of the Gods. Those are two items, best in slot per items that I've been uh, meaning to get for years now. And I think now is the time to go and get that because, you know, we have the Zara Cross but use the Hydra. So I want to go there with the best thing and test it there. So that's it. We have a bunch of these other grinds going on and you'll be seeing them in the future uh, videos, like next few videos coming soon. And then we'll get that beautiful Zarya Crossbow testing in all those different bosses and also get some new drops hopefully. So the new Crossbow has definitely changed up my setup quite a bit. I have to bring a buckler with me and a bolt, so that's two extra slots on top of what I already have. But I'm ditching claws, so I won't be needing that anymore. But the Zara's Guards were still really good. I tend to use the Zarya Crossbow spec uh, up to Blood Phase. And after that, I prefer to use the Zara's Godsword for the last half of the fight just because the heals on the minions and whatnot comes in so handy. Really uh, allows me to not bruise so much and maintain my combat boost because yeah, otherwise I blow through probably 50% uh, more super combats and range pods. And yeah, it's not really worth it then. So that's why the Zara's Godsword will stay. It's really good for supplies. A majority of the damage will definitely come from just the auto attacks and the auto rubies from the Zara Crossbow. Because the special use is 75%, so yeah, you can only use it like at one good part of the fight, which I recommend to Blood Phase anyways. I need a heal, so... Don't kill it! Let me just heal off of it. Yes! Thank you. Good teamwork, boys. No! Why didn't I hit that one? Dude, how did I miss both? You're weak to Slash. Oh my god, that's like the most accurate Slash spike in the game, and I missed twice in a row. And this guy's weak to slash. Dude, I just hit like a 91 with the Zara's God Sword. Holy. Yo. Holy mage spam, dude. Normally, when we're all next to her, which we were, she will usually melee. And it's very rare that she'll spam like magic hits more than maybe like three times in a row. But in this clip, I don't know what happened. She just kept doing it like eight times or something. I was literally losing so much food over uh, something that usually, yeah, it's not, that, that was not normal. <laughs> so doing a little bit of Slayer in between next, and I got an armor task. I still don't have the pet. It's the only God Wars pet I don't have. Now, what's different nowadays is that I have Vamp Braces, which makes my T-Bull a bit more accurate, and also I get a max hit. Only downside is I no longer use Strand Arrows with my T-Bull here because I got to save them for next. Uh, so I am using Amethyst, but it's not too bad. I think I'm missing probably like two max hits or something uh, here. Uh, but yeah, the kills are still very much uh, similar. Oh, actually, Debo, finish it off, bro. Don't even, don't even talk to me, man. 3,000 KC and I get the gloriously overdignified coins drop. But 3,000 KC, three fifths of the way to the pet rate, eh?
So logistics for Armadale post next update has changed quite a bit in terms of like how you could uh, prepare for going into the boss using like next bank and stuff. I'll cover that more in the future. So in the next Armadale task, I will be showcasing the Zara crossbow there. It's supposedly incredibly good. So we'll go into more detail when I get the next Armadale task where we showcase that beautiful thing. So I checked the max hit calculator with the new Zarya Vampresses at Armadale. Assuming I'm wearing max range strength everywhere else, uh, the only difference would be the arrows. I gained plus four max hits if I include the Vampresses. So for example, the Amethyst arrows that I'm using, it went from a 70 to a 74. And Dragon arrows is 72 to 76. So the only difference between the two is overall two, but that's insane. I'm definitely going to show you guys a slightly different uh, Armadale strategy that I'll be using. Uh, mostly the logistics side will change a bit and I'll bring a bit more firepower um, because this kind of upgrade has really made me want to change my strat a bit. So I'll show you that in the next Armadale task. Damn, not even D arrows, holy crap. That was really lucky. Usually it's at least two times, two, three times slower. At least. All right. That was a great task, man. First time using Amethyst at uh, Armadale. Now, let's actually check something here. I want to see the range strength difference between Amethyst and Dran. I think it's a pretty big one, so. What the heck? Did I just get back-to-back -back tooth halves? Holy shit. I do normally don't record this stuff, but uh, I got some big plans with this stuff in the coming uh, future, so look out for it. Oh, I got a bless shot. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we got 5 in 5.4k kills. So, uh, yeah, average right now. We're averaging. Oh, another blood shot. What? <gasps> Holy shit. That was almost... Oh my god. Was that like back to back or something? Like, nice. 6 in 5.4k. All right. <laughs> Yes! Nice, nice. Okay, that's good. Uh, I have like 40k charges on the Blood Fairy now overall then. I want one more. Slowly, slowly, just through making potions for bossing like necks and stuff. <laughs> the cash time will go down. There we go. We're, we're down a mil now. Make some unfinished potions. There we go. Getting ready for some super combat, so. Okay, I got enough Snapdragons and Toe Flax now. From farming and such, uh, now we're gonna just go ahead and do these now. Losing some money, but it's okay because, yeah, we got money! Hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be the final batches, you know, to, to get all the next stuff. And then I gotta rebuild back up again. Uh, yeah, gotta rebuild back up. Call me drug dealer rice, honestly, in the comments. And we are back in stock. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in stock. Over 1,000 Brutes, 1,000 Restorers, 1,000 Super Combat, um, uh, Range Pots. Actually, I should work on that, but it's okay. I don't use these that much in comparison. Uh, yeah, yeah. Time to do all my pre-farming for secondaries. Uh, Lentwort seeds are still looking all right. I make sure I plant those in the patches that never die. Just because, yeah. They, these are actually kind of slow to get. Uh, unless I do contracts, right? They, these take a while. So I should probably hit up some contracts again. Snape grad sees things to, you know, 90,000 moss giants. I'm all set. But yeah, I, I need these secondaries. Like, I'm out on, like, everything. From prayer potions to super restores, I'm out. So we're stocking that back up. Um, you know, birds test, I'm out. Limbs are pretty much out. White berries are pretty much out. So yeah, we got to stock up. So it'll, it'll be a weekly, daily thing for a minute. 